Greetings everyone, this is Spin here. In today's episode, I'll be doing a different little episode where I get to do a little casual playthrough of one of my favorite blood mods, which is Bloodlines out of the Grave Edition. Which has started somewhere in like, I forgot the date, but somewhere in the late 90s and got a revival a couple years ago, but the project was since put on hiatus, sadly. But this is the first stage of the game, Madhouse. Gonna try and go for all secrets and all kills. And this is how it's gonna go. This is one of my favorite mods since it has a very unique atmosphere. I love the custom weapons. The axe is a very good addition. It's like, has a faster swing rate. Take care of this guy. The civilians don't count to the kill count, but it's just fun to kill them anyway since you're the anti-hero in this one. Here we can get an aerosol spray. So let's check in on some of the residents, or I should say the patients here. Please don't hurt me! Oh, sounds like he's having a fun time in there. Not. Haha. <laughs> okay, so first things first, we're gonna have to go through the the spider key. We can go through here. A couple of civilians are surrounded a dead body. Yeah, these are the zombie butlers that replace the default zombies from blood, so... Go to the med station here. Grab an additional shield. shield body armor. Uh, uh, it's stuck. It's stuck. See you in hell. See you in hell. We could grab this little device tool here. We open up. We get the night the beast vision. Night vision, as I like to call it. Let's go for a cool little reference here. Victims, aren't we all? Free life essence. But we won't be needing that. Not right now. So yeah, the madhouse, I really love this atmosphere. It starts off real slow. You don't get a lot of enemy encounters early on. Basically, it's like build up, but we'll get more enemies soon enough. I see you too, buddy. And here's our eye key, so now we need to go find the eye door. Our next secret will be over here. So you look down the reflection, you'll see a life seat. Just take a jump up here and you'll get it. Anyways, let's head on over to the outside. Bunch of these bloated butchers, so we're gonna have to use the popular strat of lighting them up on fire alongside the spiders. Alright then, that takes care of those blokes. So we're outside the sanatorium. We need to escape this place. The town is near. I have to find a way to reach it. Yeah? We need to reach it, Caleb, so let's hop to it. Druid Hill Sanitarium. Hmm, place seen better days if I do say so myself. Shotgun shells and a, and a checkpoint here. Let's take a step forward. Whoa, okay, there's a little build engine trickery going on here. I'm playing this on the... Whoa. Yes, yeah, so I'm playing on, on the Blood Fresh Supply version of this build. Let's go in here. Very haunted area. Yeah, see, this is why I love the axe. The faster swing spree and a larger radius than the default pitchfork. These rats are will always be annoying. Now that is very spooky. These doors have been locked for ages, I think. For sure.
So next we'll go to the elevator. Which will slowly take us to our next objective. The light switch on. You know, shoddy. Wow, this promises to be fun. Next secret we'll build two mice. And we'll open all the security doors. Now this is where it's all gonna go foobar from here. We we'll get our sawn off shotgun. Which we're gonna need. Coming up soon. Let's check the phone lines real quick. No help there. How about this one? Uh, no, th no thanks, Mr. Huge Ass. More shells over here, so let's grab them. Anyways, we need to get to the next room. Bloated Butcher will be over here. He's just guarding this area with the... Patience. Which goes flip by the switch. That never gets old. I want him to feel bad for him, but really, I'm Caleb, so I don't really feel that bad. Alright, first enemy of the game. Or cultist of the game, I should say. Like flies to death. You need to okay, I can't read all that. With the choice, we need to escape. Mother nuts to the foot of whatever the hell they be saying. The railings are completely impenetrable, even though there's clearly whole gaps in between them. It's stuck. And yes, I'm playing on well done difficulty, which makes stuff, you know, they hit like a truck in this difficulty, so. Oh, that's nice. Come on out, cultists. Now I've got their attention. All right, now we got to get the hell out of here. Alarm is blaring and let's get the hell out. Just what I needed. So do I. And just like that, that is the first level, the madhouse. It is a very, very atmospheric and a very spooky level. A lot of build up to it. It is very elongated well it takes a lot of build up first you start with just the butler zombies then you got the bloated butchers and then once you get the uh, get the open all the security doors then the cultists show up and that's where it goes downhill now of course on well done difficulty they hit like a truck but yeah this is the first stage i decided if i want to do something casual and i figured this would be a good start for spooky season so Hope you all enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. See ya.